dark web mystery box. What the, what the fuck is this? This is still a thing. Why is this still a thing? I made a video last October where I took a deep dive into these dark web mystery box videos. And I thought I was late to cover the trend then. I think the dark web itself has just solidified itself as this subgenre on YouTube. And these types of videos are inevitable at this point. Now, if you haven't watched my first part, I suggest you watch at least to get some context as to what these videos are. For this video, I wanted to gather videos that were somewhat recent. I wanna see how this trend has evolved or if it's still the same goofy crime scene evidence shit we're used to. Quickly scanning over some thumbnails, I recognize a few familiar faces I covered in the first part, one of them even appearing to have become the kingpin of this shit, but I also see a lot of new players in the game. So, as much as it pains me, I watched 20 more dark web mystery box videos. This is what happened. Shout out Luke the Notable. In the first part, I said that this channel had debatably made the best quality mystery box video. They clearly had great equipment and the technical prowess to make this visually appealing. Not to mention, this guy isn't a boring sack of shit. He works on camera. He even watched my video on him and he was a pretty good sport about it, I'd say. It's kind of funny too, cause I joked that his channel was gonna die unless he stuck with the dark web shit cause his tech videos weren't cutting it. And boy, did he fucking prove me wrong because he's gained over 600,000 subs since I made that video on him because he's stuck with the dark web shit. I told you, dog. what did I say? I was just being honest, I wasn't trying to be rude. But hey, I respect it though. I respect you still putting tech as the first word in your banner. Let's see what MindCTV is buying off the dark web nowadays. Dog, I just started the video. Discretion? I really hope that this isn't a red flag that I shouldn't watch this. God damn it. What is this Goodwill scavenger hunt? What is this virtual ambient you just fed me? I just bigged you up for like a minute straight. You're making me look bad. Okay, so not much has changed. You're in a creepy attic now. You got a new co-host, even though I actually prefer your wife. I know she took that beating in the comments when you guys first did this, but now I kind of miss her. I just don't know how I feel about the fifth member of Impractical Jokers breaking it down with you. I think you two had a good contrast. Even though she was a bit one note, it was better than this. Because because in this video, both of you are taking this very seriously, like you're certified dark web detectives, and it really sucks whatever ounce of fun you had in the first one. Also, I don't know what these filters are, but that shit gotta go. You might think it makes it look creepy. I don't even think you think that. I think you might. this might have been an accident, but these just make the video look cheap. And I know you have great equipment and quality. The realism through the head cam and high definition gave you this VR vibe that made it seem like we were opening it with you. But then you slap this fucking filter on it, it takes me out of it, makes it look like an old Instagram photo. I'm not even criticizing what you had in the box. I'm just a little disappointed, Mindseed. I didn't even draw comedy from this. What did you find? Yahtzee dice at a crucifix? What's the next big mystery box gonna have? Jenga and a Bible? So Mindseed, to be continued us again. And again, I wasted a lot of time watching the first part, so what's another 20 minutes to see what's on the tape? It's just my life. All right, let's see what's on this flash drive. Okay, this is kind of different. It's a music video for today's sponsor. Perfect. Now let me tell you about this game video sponsored by Yuzu I appreciate the sponsors cause it's tough out here on YouTube Listen, brand new game, RPG, not like explosive attacks Saints say yeah, awakening, Knights of the Zodiac That, that real, real shit, licensed by Masami Kurumada Ooh. Creator of the manga, won't oh. find this at Swaparamas oh. Rising Dragon Punch, you're done, not cut from the same cloth nah. Got 12 golden saints in the mess of face off DD graphics, so good Based on the original manga, classic characters and meteor fists This how I Conquer. Voiced by famous CVs and the soundtracks by your two. Big facts. Got PvP and PvE. Victory depends on you. Got a free $10 value pack. That's facts. For the first 100 new players, quick to claim that. You'll get five AR gem, five common gem, 100 diamond. If you use my unique code after the boys done okay. rhyming, burn your cosmos. The classic is back. Download Saint Seiya Awaken the Knights of the Zodiac. One click. Use my link below. The game is absolutely free. And it's not just for the weebs. I've been playing all week. Week. Wanna help me out? Download it. Like this video? Download it. Don't like it? Download it. Back to the vid, but seriously, download it. It's a fun game. <laughs> See, now that shit was cool. I like that, Mindseed. Keep, keep doing stuff like that. That's lit. Okay, let's actually watch what's on the flash drive. Spelled it right this time. I got high hopes for this one. This is definitely an older priest. Ex-area priest faced Florida suit alleging abuse. So you've got this creepy looking old man 
wearing a speedo. I don't know if that's real or not. Catch you later. Okay, that wasn't much better. So this is Mind Seed's play from what I'm seeing. He takes a real crime case and then forms a dark web mystery box around it, almost to legitimize it. He opens a box and then he baits you into the next video while serving you up this ominous jumbled puzzle where he now forces the audience to play detective and throw all types of theories in the comments, boosting the video and the algorithm and planting seeds in his pockets. And even though he kind of let me down, I still think this guy has the most potential out of most creators I see in this type of shit. So fair game, whatever, fuck it. I got no jokes out of this one, so. Show me somebody incompetent. Satanic Bible? Oh my God. Oh, that's someone's hand or something. Is that real? So this next guy ordered a dark web skateboard. I know, it sounds like a witless idea, but it's different. I respect it. You ever try to ollie over a demon? Surprisingly difficult. Ooh, it looks sus already. I mean, why, why would you ship skate, a skateboard like this? Kind of looks like, I don't know, like an infant's body. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a classic comedy bit. The dead newborn chopped up like brisket? Come on, subscribe. Ah, come on. Why do they make it so hard for? Like, Something. You could say that. That was a callback <laughs> to his deceased Tyler joke he made earlier. Show me that skateboard, baby. This one is a weird shape. It's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of squishy. Feels like it could be like a, I don't know, like a bean bag or something. You know he was trying to run back that dead baby joke. This feels like a bean bag. I've been exposed. I only have one joke. Boy, that's fingers, man. That fingers. That's someone's hand or something. Is that real? Like a fake hand or something. Like a. Why? I don't know, man. They... These mystery boxes are really like mystery boxes, man. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. I feel like in that moment he had an epiphany. He just didn't know how to word it. Oh shit, dude. These mystery boxes. They're like filled with mystery in a box. What you gonna get in it? Cause it's mysterious. He finds a satanic Bible because we know that Christians would never want anything to do with a grinder. Thank you. That was a that was a Christian homophobic joke. And a skateboard joke at all, all all packed into one. They said I couldn't do it. There's a note here. Look at this note. He who rides this board must sacrifice their soul to Lucifer. Is that be what this knife is for? They want me to sacrifice my soul to, to ride this skateboard. These are the instructions in here. Satanic Bible. Grip tape, modus, modus grip tape. I like how he just ends up skipping over that. Satan wants your soul. Hey, look, I got some new grip tape. I'm gonna I'm a do so many heel flips. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is. Dark web mystery box setup. Skateboard. Complete. Here it is, guys. Check it out. This motherfucker just bought a board. <laughs> and I just watched him unbox it. Okay, so I've been trying to avoid him, but it's fucking impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, back for round two. The man who most likely is accounting for the most dark web mystery box videos in 2019. Jaskin Ho. Now Jaskin Ho, or Jaskinho, as he's, you know, corrected me in multiple videos, um, was one of the more worst videos I saw. And it was hilarious. He had clearly put time and effort into the contents of the box, but he himself was a bit cloddish on camera, and it was more so emphasized by his editing or lack thereof. So I'm curious to see how Jaskin Ho's content has evolved. I'm gonna carefully open this up, move this to the side, and uh, let's see. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? You have over 100k subscribers! What the fuck is this title slide? I'm gonna just leave that Helvetica font, cause fuck you. So big draw of this video is the vomit alert, and the question on all our minds is what made you vomit? I'm gonna carefully open this up, move this to the side, and uh, let's see. Oh my god. So that's what made him throw up. It was evil. Okay, seriously, what made him throw up? I'm gonna show you guys quick, and I'm gonna go flush this, okay? Uh, uh. I tried to upload without the black screen and was demonetized. 
Sorry. So apparently he uploaded this video showing what was in there and got demonetized. Hold on there, Buster. Detectives in the audience, take a look. You guys tell me what you see in there. To me, it kind of looks like a dehydrated eggplant. I don't know if he's trying to make us think it's shit, because it's not, because I've never seen leathery shit. I don't know why this shiny fruit would demonetize you. How fucking lazy, by the way. You couldn't even track the sensor. Can't even capitalize the beginning of his sentence. He's fucking using like 2008 text slang in his fucking video. You won't even outline the text. This is so frustrating as a youtuber So he opens up a black light and the gears slowly start moving and turning and turning and turning and then boom revelation I can put this in my power source and maybe this black light turns on I don't want to say I'm on the edge of my seat right now guys, but you know, I'm standing Okay, took my light bulb out oh, fuck. You okay Jessica? Well that's upsetting. I mean, like, what's the point? Wait, are you watching this video too? <laughs> that was the worst 20 minutes of my life. So weird, same exact reaction to this video. Next up is this little blue dice that I, um, I'm gonna roll it. If it lands on a four, I'm gonna end the video right here. Daddy needs a four, come on! It's a three. Fuck! This looks like something back from like the Medieval times, I don't know. This is so crazy. See, I don't know if Jaskin Ho just can't act to save his fucking life, or if this is just him, because when the light bulb was hot and he grabbed it, and he was like, ah, he reacted the same exact way. Like he's just sleepwalking through life. Oh, fuck, ah. So not only that part was staged, I think he was actually like, oh, I'm just gonna grab this, even though it's the cheap light bulbs that fucking heat up like the sun's asshole in two seconds. I don't know if that's just him. Maybe he's a great actor just in his own right. Now, the only thing that we have left to do is to handle this flash drive. So I will be handling this. Uh, let me just reroute. Uh, let me show you the letters one more time. You just seem bored now, Jaskin Ho. You look like you just got done watching a Jaskin Ho video. Thank you so much, guys. All right, so I'm back. Um, I know I'm in different clothes and everything. I actually went to my girlfriend's house. Duty calls. But Excuse me? <laughs> Did you just suddenly tell us you clap cheeks? Duty calls. Listen, guys, I've been shooting webs and mystery boxes before my channel. You know what I'm saying. So he opens up this flash drive, and it's just all gibberish. It has nothing to do with anything. He has now become the door of the Explorer guy. Just all these puzzles that don't matter. But people will waste their time and flood his comment section and boost his video. Just in case his oversaturated tags don't do it first. I wanted to watch another one of Jaskin Hill's videos, but I'm assuming they're all exactly the same. But I'm going to try and watch uh, another another flash drive video. I'm curious how he handles it since the first time was a bit absolute dog shit. So I'm gonna plug this into my computer and get straight into that. Before this video starts, if you want a chance to win one of five Amazon gift dude right here, he looks like a king or some shit. Whoa, I'm not the brightest, so. If any of you guys know what this is or you know how to decipher this, I will see you guys Later. Update, tried watching a flash drive video. Didn't turn out well. I do not have the same patience as I did the first time. By the way, if you thought Jaskin Ho was just a bad creator, you're absolutely right. Terrible. I'm going pretty hard on this dude because of his recent video. Jaskin Ho mentions that his place was ransacked. He's really torn up about it, which I think is another lie because you've lied about everything so far. And I feel like you're throwing this out there just to be a part of your dark web storyline. Like people are fucking with you because of it, which wouldn't have really mattered to me had you not elected to lie to your audience about this, soak about it on camera, and then immediately promote your Patreon. He says they stole his play button, some expensive sentimental items, adding to this victim role, and he also says they stole some of the dark web items he has received. Hopefully I get this guy back here. Um, I miss it so much. I really do, like... Man. But, nonetheless, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your incredible support. Thank you for everything. If you want to show your support and become- Now it's very possible that he's telling the truth, and if he is, I'll eat my fucking words. But I just have one question. Why would this burglar decide to take your play button, rusty crowbars, and heroin needles over, I don't know, let's say your Xbox? That thing, right there? that's there all the time, couple feet away from your play button. It's right there in an older video. And in a sliver of this video, it's still there. Very sentimental items of mine have been taken from me. Um, 
My electronics, my electronics, my electronics. You would also think if you actually got robbed, you would take the opportunity to make that its own video. You're a YouTuber now. This is the type of shit you live for. Your camera should have been out soon as you noticed you got robbed. Like I said, I might be wrong, but I might also be disgustingly right. And if I am, you're kind of a fucking slime ball. Jaskin Ho is jacking your money. The dark web changed you. This guy has pretty good quality. Multiple camera angles, he's got B-roll and shit. But what in the fucking fuck have these videos become? In the first part, there was really only one guy doing this, where he was manipulating the audience into feeding the algorithm by asking for quick time likes and comments over and over again. This guy is horrible with it. He starts the video by baiting you into trying to keep the like and dislike bar equal, and obviously it'll never be equal. Some people like to play along, some people like to fuck it up, which pretty much guarantees them more and more likes with every impressionable dick bag that jumps on that video. A minute 30 into his video, he cuts away to emphasize, guys, this mystery box left me Scarred. Seriously, watch to the end. It's the most messed up mystery box I've ever received. I think I'm gonna get some nightmares for the next coming weeks, months, years. Oh, a mirror. Okay, I look pretty good for the video. I think so. Didn't think it's something I'd ever see in my life, but I seen it. We got a pair of uh, women's sunglasses over here. Is it bad that I look pretty fire in a pair of women's glasses? And I unboxed it. It changed me completely. I am a 23 year old man and I am not the same person anymore. The inside of the file over here says how many licks. And mind you, this clip doesn't contextualize anything. It doesn't clarify anything. It's like a mid roll clickbait. And he throws it in very early at a specific point where I would assume his watch time usually drops off. Three minutes and 15 seconds into his video, he cuts away yet again to promote his Twitter, so as he explains, so you guys can discuss the theories about the scary flat rate box. And I'm gonna be retweeting people who kind of have theories on this, and I'm gonna be retweeting people- Oh, okay, I take it all back. She's so precious. If you guys didn't know, I have a husky, and her name's Storm. Yours is Stormy. Fuck, this is cute. Two cents taken off. In all seriousness, it is really cute, but this is also a manipulation tactic, and I, I'm not- I'm not on your side, buddy. Did somebody ask for a random Twitter overlay? So he shows us a map and a specific location, asking the audience to figure out, hey, what is this? Where's this at? This part of the video, I need you guys to put on your detective caps. And this is the problem with shit like this. When you bring the real world into these goofy ass videos, people are going to get involved one way or another. Especially when you're presenting multiple calls to action throughout the video. Because they believe you need help with all of this. So they're like, we gotta help our boy Crypto. Bro, you trying to go dig up a body? Obviously figure out the places that are on the map, but please, I don't condone anybody going to these locations. Figure out where it is and everybody stay away from it. Thank you. Crypto, dude, what the fuck? It's been like five minutes of just dark web mystery box content. Can we get I a fuck? Thank you. On the back, it says V I N 6 6 M Z. This one starts pretty decent, I guess, and pretty believable for those new to the trend. This guy goes to the post office to pick up his box and even has footage of workers measuring it out, claiming they were sketchy about it. They didn't know if they wanted to give it to him, even though that's not a thing. He probably just went in there with it and was like, hey, can I ship this? And they're like, I don't know, why does it look like that? When the unboxing starts, he throws in two extra packages at the last second because he can. Guys, if you want me to open this box, you're gonna have to hit the thumbs up button to activate this, right? Come on, I need more thumbs up, I can't open it. It's lifting, it's lifting, it's lifting. Oh, guys, come on. Smash the like button. Three, two, one. Go. Yo, 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 What the f is in there? Yeah. I don't need to say too much about this. Again, it freaks me out. I just feel like this is like some weird voodoo shit. It's going back here. I don't even know. Voodoo? That's just a troll doll. Gen Z, come get your mans. This guy bought so much shit that he just starts jump cutting the hell out of it at the end because even he knows it's boring. Who wasted so much money on this? And these views are not gonna replenish that. Sorry, buddy, maybe you should actually hop on a trend that's trending. This next guy's name is Dark Web Unboxer. Oh, that's clever. That's very clever. That's a clever one. This video is rather short, thank God. He finds a bloody knife or something that's supposed to look like that, I guess, and then pretends to call the cops off screen for. Three minutes! Got him. He makes up this entire conversation for three minutes and we're stuck looking at this frame. Oh my gosh, is that a new drill? Okay, aside from this idiot, this trend has now clearly evolved to the point where almost every video is the same. It's a guy rifling through cheap rummage sale knickknacks and lobbing up puzzles for the audience to solve. Honestly, the dark web aspect has been completely lost on these videos. It's just a buzzword going down with the ship. Woofy. 
raps up a box with guardian tools and caged up beanie babies and then fucks with his audience for 12 minutes. I'm not sure what this is. They take it seriously, then make fun of it, then take it seriously, then parody it. Who cares? You just paid for my next pair of Yeezys, you fucking morons. You remember the guy in my last video who opened a $100,000 mystery box and then was later hacked by stock footage? He made another video. Well, he made a lot more, but the one I'm talking about is where he talks about the $200 million mystery box. He literally just talks about it. He doesn't even try lying to us that he bought it with his friend's Ethereum fortune, which is a letdown. I would have loved to hear that justification. But he does say what the $200 million dark web mystery box supposedly contains. And what that is, is a special invite to the Illuminati. That's right guys, the secret society trying to establish a new world order is essentially the chocolate factory. You just get a cute little invite. You get a nice pamphlet, become a rewards member, summon Lucifer, you earn this. The box also apparently grants you safety when the apocalypse inevitably hits. So since you're a part of the Illuminati and shit, when that category five comes rolling through, you will be guaranteed shelter with the top 1%. Now there were no specifics given, but I'm sure you'll be stolen away in a lighthouse in Singapore with Jeff Bezos and Ryan's toy reviews. It'll be fun. It's become increasingly difficult to find a short video of this nature. The majority are 20 minutes minimum going up to 35. Please stop. Why do all of you start the video like this? It's not gonna save you. Demonetization is coming for that ass. Wait one fucking second. You fucking... <laughs> He stole that from Mind CTV. There's one idiot who started it, putting that warning screen, and then all the other dark web guys were like, that's what we do, we gotta warn the audience, this is spooky. You stole someone else's disclaimer, and it was the only one with a fucking typo in it. I don't know why I'm doing this at 2 a.m. in my basement by myself. There's nobody home except me. This is a weird candle. Look at this. Fucking hell. Just get this shit out of me. What is the censor? Why is there like a slam effect in addition to the squeak? If you listen closely, it's not just a squeak. My guess, since you ripped someone else's intro, you ripped someone's squeak from their video and did not trim it correctly. Also, you're ASMRing me from across the room, so I have to max out your volume, only to then... So in this video, this guy finds a severed head. Don't believe him? Good. It was surprisingly a breath of fresh air, which apparently he had plenty of because he never once mentioned the odor of the severed head. But seriously, with this guy, there was no puzzles. There was no manipulative call to action. It was just a fun little lie in a horribly edited video. I love it. Opening a real dark web mystery box. Scary. Disgusting. Chinese. <laughs> Shane Gillis, is that you? You know what's funny? These guys made a parody of dark web unboxings and they somehow had better acting than the people actually trying to convince me. Wait, what's that? The end of Jaskin Ho? If we ignore all these videos that came after? So today I made 100% sure to bring gloves for the simple fact that in my last video, I opened an open syringe inside of a box and it was labeled HIV on the side of it. Now I'm really grateful that I didn't, you know, poke myself with that and that I really took precaution with it because if I hit myself on that, I have AIDS. Latex sometimes fails in stopping jizz. You are awfully confident it will stop a fucking needle. And hey, look, you still got stabbed by RAM. This trend is not gonna die. As long as the dark web brings in views, dark web mystery boxes will always be somewhat viable as a choice of content. At first it was silly. It was shipping myself in a fucking post office, staying somewhere for 24 hours, silly. And now it's become this corner pocket of baiting interaction from gullible normies. And for those seeing that mild success bring profit regardless of the expenses of what's inside the boxes, it becomes a no-brainer. And speaking of Jaskin Ho, it sucks to see someone who was once an innocent goofball with mediocre content become kind of a shady douchebag with worse content. Let's put that negative energy on the side. Support good creators in an era where YouTube doesn't. I will now be shining a light on a YouTuber, big or small, that I personally think deserves more attention. I will be doing this at the end of my videos from now on. I got a whole list ready to fire off, so fear not if I don't shout out your gem of a YouTuber. So this video's recommendation is Scott Kramer. I found Scott got through something you might have seen him in. He did a Hot Ones parody that was super funny and it went viral. I can't really put him in a box, but I'll call him a commentator, I guess. He's great at bringing you along a timeline while simultaneously entertaining you. His videos are far from the usual. His personality adds so much to his content. If you need a video recommendation to start on, some of my favorites are The Running Community is Toxic, Dear Rhett and Link, What the Fuck, and Did Deal or No Deal Steal My Video. Don't lie, those titles make you want to watch. And you should. 
sub to him. Tell him I hate him and that he should start making dark web mystery boxes if he ever wants to succeed in this business. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It matters so much. Please. Subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Shout out to my new patrons for supporting the boy and shout out to Eric Griffin for retweeting my last video tweet. Don't forget to support today's sponsor, the only thing that's keeping me from having to make dark web mystery box videos. You can find the links for that in the pinned comment below. And as always, I am Mr. GG and I am out. Next level.